At first glance, a corridor may appear to be a random jumble of line work. However, visualization comes easy with the proper application of code set styles. As we discussed, corridors are comprised of links, points, and shapes. Links connect the various levels of material across the corridor. Points occur anywhere there's a geometry change in a subassembly. And shapes comprise the closed areas that are created by the materials defined. In addition to points, these are connected longitudinally along the corridor with feature lines, which can be styled as any line work. All of this comes together to form a very visual element. If we select our subassembly, excuse me, our assembly, and we change our code set style to one that displays labels, we can see a lot of information about this assembly. We can see the offset distances for the points. We can see areas for the shapes. These can be used to label typical cross sections as well. If we select our corridor and we change the code set style from, for example, basic to all codes, you can see that the display will greatly change. Each of the components we discussed earlier can be styled. In the top view, you can see that our links are styled with render materials. We can also display different line work styles, hatching, anything that we can use to change how this corridor looks can be set up in a code set style. If I change to the visualization code set style, you can see that our hatching is set to display our sidewalk as well as our pavement. Even in 2D view, I can change the view style to realistic and see the render materials for my corridor. This makes visualization very simple. As you can see, however, there are some areas, some links that don't have render materials applied to them. You can see those in the lower left view frame. It appears that perhaps our Perhaps the grassy area that I defined between the back of curb and the sidewalk isn't showing correctly. That doesn't have a render style applied to it. We can easily change that by editing the code set style. Let's take a look at where they're found. Code set styles, like any other styles, are on the settings tab of Prospector. They're found underneath general, multi-purpose styles, code set styles. If we select our visualization code set style and expand out our links, points, and shapes, you'll see that the information that can be defined within is nearly staggering. For every point, for every link, for every shape that's possible inside our corridor, we can have a style set up for it. You can see our shapes have styles set up as well as label styles that we currently have set to none. Under links, we have a description, there's a style that can be displayed, as well as a render material, and a material area fill style. Our points can be displayed using the various point styles in Civil 3D, but they can also be styled with feature line styles. If you'll take a look, it doesn't appear that our retaining wall is rendering properly here inside this drawing with our code set style. I'd like to have a better way of visualizing my retaining wall. 
I can select my corridor and we can use the extract corridor solids command to extract out a solid concrete wall. When I select the command, I can pick by range or within a specific polygon if I want to, dis to extract a solid just for one small area. I'm going to go all along my road and extract out my wall. And I need to do that one more time and actually select the corridor. And type A for all. This dialog box allows us to select what we would like to extract from our corridor. You can see that almost everything in our corridor can be extracted as a solid. However, our focus is going to simply be on the retaining wall on the left and right side. I'm going to pick those two shapes. And I'll leave the layer name and color alone and just let it use the defaults. I'll select Next, and I can see the property set definition that's going to be exported along with this 3D solid. I can see that there's quite a lot of information that's going to be exported out with this. I can select either a 3D body, a 3D solid based on the sampling, or a swept 3D solid. I want to insert this into the current drawing and, of course, link these solids to my corridor. Any change to the corridor will automatically change the solid. These solids are very useful in that they can be taken out into other products, such as Revit, for things like structural analysis and design. And in this way, we can get useful information out from our corridor and visualize it using these code set styles.